internet sensation Prince Patel. How are we getting on? I'm um, good, thank you. Yourself? Really well. Um, it's good to sort of finally meet up with you. You see, keep seeing these videos online. And um, how's things been going since your last bout? Um, just been continuing in the gym with Mervs training, and um, just getting better and better. Um, something that I'll start sort of start off with. Um, your amateur pedigree is sort of quite high. Um, what what sort of stands out for you in your with what you've done in the amateurs? Uh, well, the highlight of my amateur career was um, beating Frank Warren's new signing in Charlie Driscoll and Charlie Edwards on the same night in the junior ABAs. So um, yeah, I'd say that was my highlight of my career. Even though I won a few national titles, Box Spring and GB, say so beating two top prospects on the same night was a good accomplishment. Going on from there, you turned over professional. Yep. Your first bout didn't even go around. Um, wha- how did you feel, you know, coming out of that ring that night and you, you sort of knocked the opponent, f- opponent out first round? I wanted to make a statement. Like I said in the, I know Goodwin does like press conferences and stuff before and I said pretty much there, I wanted everyone to leave talking about me and um, pre- I think I've pretty much done that. Going on from there, you're now three fights in. Um, your last fight out, um, the opponent had to go over to the corner to have his short sorted or his, his um, glove retaped. Um, you got up on the corner of the ring, had a little lay down. What what made you do that? You know, is that just something? That y- is that you or? Uh, yeah, I just um, the plan was really to hopefully to have maybe got a stoppage and then jumped on the ropes, <laughs> but I I didn't think the stoppage was coming, so I just thought I'd just get it out of my system and just do it. Going on from there, the weight division that you box in is quite a sort of small division, really, in England, in, in Britain. Um, you're ranked eighth on box rec. Um, where do you see yourself standing in the rankings in Britain? Uh, personally, I'm only ranked eighth due to the number of fights I've had. But to be honest, when I look at the division in a whole, um, there ain't really any huge standout people. You're either in the flyweight, you're either good or you're not so good. And um, I reckon by this time next year, I'll definitely be having some sort of um, gold around the waist. You've chose Mervyn Turner. Um, you come to Shamrock Boxing Gym. Um, what was it that made you sort of come and train with Mervyn? Um, I, <laughs> I literally just um, was trying, I was asking different coaches, I was speaking to different coaches, I trained with a few different coaches, trained with Merv and on the first session I felt an improvement and then um, I just got with Merv and I was working with him, never been fitter, never been stronger, he's worked on not only just the boxing side, he's got me stronger, like he's implicated a strength and conditioner. I'm lifting more in the weights gym than I've ever done before. Never did do weights before, <laughs> but uh, I'm lifting a lot more now than what I w- was doing at the beginning when I first started. And the boxing's improved. Like, if you watch my second fight to my third fight, there's improvements. It's Maybe there's, there's still work to work on, but there's huge improvements. So, 2016, it's just now started the year. What can people expect to see by the end of 2016 from Prince Patel? Uh, me to back my mouth up. Um, I don't want to just be someone who's known for just talking a load of rubbish. I want to be known for actually being able to fight as well. Because I can fight. I've proved it in the amateurs. I've, I think I've semi-proved it over three fights. But when it hits to like eight, nine, ten fights, you people will be talking to me as one of the best fighters in the UK. There we go. Let's pre- <laughs>